Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we had discussed how to connect PostgreSQL through C library, library BQs. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate or discuss PostgreSQL C++ connector library PQXX. The document can be found from the internet, the C++ connector for PostgreSQL. So library PQXX is the official C++ client API for PostgreSQL. So here in the technical specification overview, so this library works on the top of C level API. So the library PQ, which we have discussed in previous video. So in this case, so you will link your program with both library PQXX and library PQ. It means when we build our program, so we I make five. Then we build our program. We have to include both the library PQ and the library PQXX. So to install the li library PQXX is on the Linux. We have to sudo apt get library PQXX dev and after installed you can verify this cd user pqxx so you must have the header directory and the rs there's a bunch of lot of uh, header file with hxx and uh, cd library and the library directory is my l pq star and the must you have your library called library pqxx.so uh, installed so let's back to our program so another terminal so we create a simple program Called pqxx underscore select xs dot cpp. So in order to use in the pqxx, we have to include header pqxx pqxx, which is the header file. And uh, so we try to design a program simple to use in the command pqxx select axis and the take a four argument from command line first one is the host then the port login id and the database name so it's for the first of doing the postgresql database api we have to build our connection string connection string here in the document and here is the connection string and here's the several library pq functions parse a user specified string to obtain the connection parameters there are two accepted format for this string one is the key equal value like this so host equal host uh, local host part equal five or three database name equal my date so this is the key value format there's otherwise called a URI, generally follow the RCF3986. So here is the URI connection string. This string should be formatted as start with the PostgreSQL colon forward slash slash, and then it's the user, and then it's the password, and the host, part, and database. So here there's a few, some example of how the connection string, string looks like. So let's back to our program. Based on the document and our connection string, 
where we start with the PostgreSQL colon slash slash, and then with the user, and with the password, and with the host, and the part, and database. So this we up so we after we verify the argument, which is very simple, we start to get the password using the secure get password function to get the password. So after that we create a string stream called SS. So we start to build our connection string. So start with the PostgreSQL colon slash slash and the argument three. So argument three is the user login, user login, and it's the colon, then that is the password, and the password we get from this function, and the add, and the password, and add, and the argument one, argument one is the host, and the colon, and the, the argument two. So the colon, argument two is the part number, and the slash, and the argument four, and the argument four is the database name. So after we build a, a connection string, we just the first step we are going to do is the build a connection object, instantialize the connection object. So the connection class, here is the session, the connection class. The connection class are where the use of a database begins. So it we have to be begin with connection class. You must connect to a database in order to access, access it. So we have to connect to database in order to access. So the connections represent a session with the database. Okay, so that uh, there is uh, in the contact of a connection, you can create a transaction which in turn to you can use to execute SQL. So it means after we had connection, we have to create a transaction in which to execute SQL command. So the transaction, transaction is standard backend transaction, and uh, to okay, why transaction is a standard backend transaction, and it's tamari. This is the type you will normally want to use to represent the transaction on the database. While you may choose to create your own transaction object to interface your data database backend, it's recommended that you wrap your transaction code into the trans tr transaction instead, instead of later transaction to be created for you. So the, it means, okay, so the t code looks like a created transaction. It's a work T and the C connection. First we build a connection and then we build the transaction. So here, let's go to our program. So it's the first, we create a connection. We call it my CON, which is a post XX connection, CON. And with the string, which is a connection connection string, we build after we get all the password, we build it based on this format. And after we create a con uh, connection, we start using as the document work, and we call our transaction TXN with connections. And after connection, we execute the uh, SQL and the result put into the result set. Let's see what the result set is. The result set contains the data returned by query or command. So it means that we made a query command and it's where we date where we return into result set. And the result set in library PQXX, a lightweight reference countered wrapper object, which are re relatively small and cheaper to copy. So this is the, this, our result set is the container, contains the date returned by query and O command. So we made a, we made a query command and return the date into the result set called RES. And after we run this, and they just check if RES is not empty, 
and we first of all we can do we use the method columns to get the total column and the res column because the result has its container we can use the iterator from begin r begin begin r end c end begin this method to make a loop and also And this is the method columns. This method is return the number of columns in the result set. So we so we get the total column using the columns method. And now that we're going to use the result set column name method, and which I make a loop from the zero to total column, and we just print the header using the res dot column name method. Is I, and uh, here we, this is a side wide because we just print on the printer regularly, better print, and um, less part part we fill into the blank, and uh, the widest set we create a uh, just a integer array to first column four bytes, uh, four characters, fifteen characters, eighteen characters, eight char characters, and twelve characters. And we can design this based on the application. And after we print the header, we make a loop for all the result set in the loop, get the row, row, and we make a loop to print this is the same wide and the same alignment. We just this is raw i dot c string. We just print out the result set with this raw in the c string. And then we finish the loop, we print out, we just go into T transaction commit. For the update database uh, statement, you we have to do this commit for make a database commit. And uh, for a query, it may not necessary, but not necessary, but uh, it's better to do after finish the tra transaction. And if there's an error, we just uh, print out what's the error are, and then we finish the program. So now let's save this. We just uh, compile this and use a make. As we said before, we, um, the, okay. As we said before, because uh, it's a PQXX, on top of a P, uh, library PQ, so the there the link we have included both library, and uh, so let's run this program. So this one we need to run is the first is the host, and uh, we know our database located at uh, server one nine two one six eight dot zero one zero two, so. Our host is 102 and the part number is 5432 and the user login ID and database name we call it YHDB. So we ask the password. You can see we made a connect to the database query. We get it from the four record from this table and the exact same and that's we we're doing using the PSQL on the database. We got the same four record for the table players. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful this is useful, enjoyable, and it's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.